You will need scissors, macrame cord for the lengths of your window, and I'll leave those dimensions below, a wooden dowel, the width of your window, and then two ceiling hooks and some rope to hang it. I really wanted to lighten up my office because I have a bunch of green plants down below, so I wanted to make this macrame curtain as big as the drapes I already had. So I took a piece of macrame cord and threw it over that dowel already there and measured the entire length of the window by folding it in half. You want it a little bit longer than the window because it will give you space to design and make knots and not have it be shorter than what you anticipated. Now that you have that guideline, go ahead and cut as many strips as you see fit for the design you want to do. I cut 30 strips for my dowel. Once I cut everything, I grouped them by two and I found the middle, like I basically folded those two pieces in half because you're gonna put those two pieces together on your dowel. Side note, you do want this wooden dowel to be hanging the entire time. I literally took yarn and roped it around my garage and just kind of MacGyvered something. So it looks like this when it's hanging up and you can just cut that yarn and take it down whenever you need to. With the two pieces that you fold in half, you're going to put it around the dowel like this and then pull the bottom four pieces through and then you can securely tighten it. I did that 14 more times, so I had a total of 15 groups on my dowel that I spaced evenly once all of them were up there. This is what your dowel should look like so far. And now we're just gonna do square knots. Take your left outer string of one of the groups and you're going to put that behind the two middle pieces. The right strand is gonna go under the left strand right here and then it's gonna go over the two middles and then through that left circle and you're gonna pull it. So when you pull to tighten it, it should look like this right here. Now repeat those steps, but now start with your right side going underneath the two middle and the left side coming up over the top of them and pulling through on the right circle. And you should get something like this. I went ahead and did that to each group, so your dowel should look like this. For the second row, now you're just gonna take the outers of two groups. So you're gonna be alternating them and it will create a little pattern. So you make these two outer pieces of the groups your two center of the next row. I timestamped in the description below of my previous macrame video where I slowed this knot down to the slowest speed I could for you guys. So if this isn't making sense, I apologize, but my last macrame video goes into full detail and I've linked it right here for you as well. Repeat that to all the groups and you're gonna have your second row completed. So it should look something like this. Now we're on to our third row. So you see it starts to add a little circle and I really fell in love with that. And when I saw the blog on a beautifulmess.com, it didn't look like this. So I got kind of thrown off and a little bit bummed, but I worked through it and I ended up really liking it. As I went along, I noticed that I was kind of sloping. So I kept a ruler nearby and I just measured from the base of the wooden dowel to the knot to make sure they're all even across the board. So this is what it looks like when I got to three rows in. This is really therapeutic, actually. I zoned out completely when I was doing this, and you guys are just gonna make as many rows as you want. I didn't wanna go too far down because I wanted the yarn to be hanging through most of my window. I did eight rows and it ended up like this, which I absolutely loved, and I left some extra space on the sides because I'm gonna hang plants off of it. On my last row, I took the outers of each group and I just did a simple knot to put them together to kind of form a diamond. You could replace the square knots even with just all these kind of knots and it would make it way easier for you if you don't want to do the square knot and it would probably look just as dope. <laughs> to hang it, I had two ceiling hooks, rope, two nails, and a hammer. Hammer one nail onto each end of the dowel. Take a piece of rope and fold it in half, making a loop, so that way you can just loop it directly onto that nail and it could float when you hang it. This is what I had before. It was so dark all the time in the office and I didn't think it would make that big of a difference when I hung up the macrame curtain, but I was totally wrong. I installed my two ceiling hooks, looped the rope directly onto it and voila. <laughs> Don't 
forget to cut the excess off on the bottom and I actually recycled these pieces because I noticed there was a bigger space than I anticipated once I hung it up. So I just took those extra pieces and I knotted them together to make a longer strand. Then I legit knotted them directly onto where I wanted them to hang off of to fill up that excess space on each side of my dowel. You can cut these little ties off if you want to. You don't have to. I did because there's already enough texture going on with my wall hanging. I love when I can recycle what I'm already using for a DIY and this came in handy especially when I was using this extra cord. This definitely lightened up the space exactly how I wanted it to and because Paul won't let me get a pet, I've become a plant mom. So now this room is perfect because it has so much sunlight for them to thrive. Now I am no pro at macrame, but I liked how it came out. Give it a thumbs up if you liked this video and don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe. I will see you guys next Wednesday.